Okay. <laughs> is that a uh, is that a is that a hampered drive or a full? Full. Full. Drive it full. Oh, just missed it. Fruit explodes everywhere. Broken glass rains down. Your car wildly spins. It's barely. It's it. You need a new car, but you can just make it into the alley. The uh, the fancy sports car is there. It's still on. The doors open. Uh, the the other door um, next to it is closed. But there's looking around. You can see that there's some water in the alley, and you can still see wet footprints where somebody went through the water into that door. Cool. Not our car. We follow. <laughs> <laughs> Question: Are you wanting to take all that garbage in the middle of the seat, or leave your fingerprints and every? Well, your fingerprints are all over the car, and probably the Jesus handles and everything else. <laughs> You wish yeah, you had about a pound we're, of plastic. We're just going to have to leave lots of evidence. <laughs> All right. No problem. You guys then charge into uh, the the uh, uh, place. Uh, the 80s. Uh, no problem. <laughs> you, you rush in there, and you see off to your right, you can see it opens out into a wide lit area with people sitting around, sleeping, doing drugs, whatever, the homeless people. To your left is an odd door with some even odder graffiti as we now take you to a new part of Roll 20. Yeah, here we are. There you go. You should be able to see that picture there. Yeah, Let's see a door. Uh huh. That's a uh, creepy looking door. Uh huh. Too bad they don't, I don't have a little lock. Hallowed ground yet, do I? What's that, Russ? I don't know about hallowed ground yet, do I? I uh, their their version of hallowed ground here is uh, on set. Okay. Uh, Russ, that looks like art. Yes, it does. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> All right. I'm going to throw my art 20. All right. Fail. Maybe, he says, but how will we know? <laughs> All right. Uh, I need access to that card, Logan. To the what? Oh, just dump it, dump it anywhere here. I can't see my cards anymore. Because the pictures are up. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, they're just. Well, you I should be know. able to see your cards regardless, sir. Are you, uh, you, are you in the discard pile or your cards? Your cards my never cards, go. I can see. Okay, so just. Just discard it like on the door or under the door or whatever. That's fine. Very good. Yeah, if I need to move them for anything, I'll move them around. Okay, I just kind of dropped that. It disappeared, but I just dropped yeah. it into the. Into the nope. picture. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because the fog is on because I have many hidden pictures. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, you guys do. Uh, we go through that door. No problem. It's not even locked. But uh, you, you give me listen rolls as you open the door. Oh, and danger sense rolls, please. Okay. All right. This is listen. Uh, listen, then danger sense. Okay. Fail, listen. The door made a big squeaky noise. <laughs> I failed my listen as well. Big squeaky noise. I have a 60 in danger sense, so a 97 is a fumble. Yep. Uh, by the way, you left all your electronic garbage in the car? Yes. Yeah. Good. No problem. I... Where's my danger sense? Does it run under Sixth a different sense. name? It's, un it's under S. Sixth sense, danger sense. Okay. Ah, there it is. 50% in that one. So I fail. Cool. Everything's groovy. Uh, it looks like a underground tunnel, not lit, going down. I'll whip out my phone and turn on the flashlight. Aha! Defeated darkness. <laughs> Great. The, the uh, um, yeah, you guys uh, head down. Uh, give me uh, history rolls, by the way. Uh, 
And if you make it, then a different skill will be required. Fail. Nothing. Fail? Cool. Fuck history. We're we're American, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. You guys uh, uh, head on down. As you as you head down there, anything special or just kind of heading down side by Trying side? Trying to be quiet. Quiet. Okay. Yeah, we'll try. Yeah, you, you've still got you've still got a huge light source going, so you know. <laughs> Do but I yeah, turn it off? I don't want anybody here is coming, so the, I, I don't want them to know we're there until they see the light source. Mm -hmm. When when we're on flat ground, because I'm assuming we're going downstairs right now. Not stairs. It, it's just a sloping down tunnel. Does it level out at any point? Not yet. You're going down, down. All right. Down. I think I'm going to keep right. the light on until it levels out. Watch so out. I'm making my stealth roll. Sure. Right on. Groovy. And fail. No problem. Uh, he kicks something which you think is a bone. Hmm. Bone. Human or otherwise? Check it out. Hmm. Give me a biology roll. What kind of bone is this? It's kind of big. It could have come from human. Let me cut you open, Russ, and see what's inside. Do I get a match? You'll be okay. <laughs> All right. Can I make an anatomy roll too? Yeah. Fail. It's a bone. It's probably not one of yours. Is your guess? <laughs> we don't even know if it's human. <laughs> Could be a cat bone. All right. Um, I think we should slow things up. Okay. Turn off light and everything. If you turn off well, light, if we turn off you... the light will just die. So yeah, you won't see <laughs> shit. Need light. No problem. I, there's more and more bones and more disturbing. Imagine the largest shit you've personally ever taken. Now, triple or quadruple that size. And That's you see a human. shit just like that over there. <laughs> it's fucking huge. It's big enough that you could name it. It might be able to run for president. <laughs> I'm going to stop and listen for any kind of wildlife in here. Sure, give me an amazing listen roll because it's it's hard because your buddy keeps crunching over bones and shit. All right, I put my hand up. Crunches over to look at your hand is my guess. <laughs> Hold up. A ninja. Hold up. I stand still. I yeah. want a stealth. I want. I want a stealth roll from Jeremy while he's standing still, just <laughs> looking for a fumble. That's all I want is a fumble for a no. loud, squishy farting noise to come out while you stand still. Just give me a fumble, and that fucking happens. No fumble. God damn it! All right, Russ, <laughs> what did you what did you get? Uh, fail. Fail on listen. Maybe you farted. You're not sure. <laughs> what might may have? Oh God! Something might have. Oh no! <laughs> You hope it's you. Can there's another turn right over there, and there's more and more bones. And pretty much, it's it's like there's the main tunnel, and then there's side tunnels and stuff going here and there. Your guess is you're hoping you're in the sewer system, but... I don't like this. Let's go back and clean up the car. Just leave him be and go come back another day he's or, got such an advantage here and there may be a big creature and we're gonna have to regroup i don't see a reason why not you guys head back uh russ please give me a luck roll as you've parked your car next to a place where homeless people live success no problem you uh, managed to stop the two homeless people who wanted to have sex in your vehicle and drive them away <laughs> okay um grab the equipment um we wipe the car for prints uh give me forensics rolls to make sure that the police are utterly baffled when they come to your vehicle you got forensics no i've got hobbyist it's all nope. you that's not a success jason Bourne, you are not me neither. All right. Well, I make a futile attempt at cleaning up the scene, and uh, let's get back to our, our original car. 
fortunately, it's not in in. It's like just a, a few city blocks away type thing, as opposed to you know forever. But eventually, you guys managed to get back to your car. Fortunately, okay. nobody saw you in the other car because the windows are heavily tinted. Bonus. Yeah, privacy glass. Yay. Yeah. Uh, although the truck and glass. The glass truck and the fruit truck were talking to cops and stuff. Nobody even looked at you guys. It's like, oh, I don't know where he went. I done. All the fruit was pelting me. Oh, I was being pelted with glass. You put your glass in my fruit. And the cop's like, no, no, no. Chocolate and fucking peanut butter. That's what you guys should have been driving. Glass and fruit goes great together. <laughs> Just like Halloween. Oh, Russ had some rough Halloweens. Anyway, you guys get your vehicle, put your shit in it, put your fingerprints on it, claiming it. Mine. And uh, where, what would you like to do now? You you would love to get some uh, uh, flashlights that aren't your phone because you know batteries and shit. Yeah, um, let's get some let's get some flashlights. Excellent. Russ, give me a luck roll to see if you make it before the horrible electronic store closes. Fumble. All oh, the. Fumble. Hold on. Hold on. So, yeah, I have a 50. Fumble. No problem. Anything that possibly sells a flashlight is closed or out. <laughs> you knew it was coming. Even the gas station that sells those cheap ass flashlights, out. <laughs> they, have the, they have these trucker pills you can get, though. They'll. Pep you up. Cool. Pass. Uh, okay, well, it looks like it's our phones, man. Everything's closed. All right. All right. So we need a we need a, an action plan here if we're going to go back down there and, and explore, or we need to figure out where we can pick up the trail again. I should have taken a picture of that door. That was pretty cool art on that door. Oh, we really can go back detailed. and take a picture. Hmm? We can go back and take a picture. Nobody yeah. noticed us. Let's go snap Let's a picture of that door. Away. Go there, check it out, take pictures. No problem. Uh, yeah, heading back there is no problem, especially since you got a car now. In fact, if you want to lock it up, it may keep the homeless out for a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to get dirty, dirty hobo sex going on in the car while you're gone. <laughs> Click. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No problem. Uh, yeah, you guys go back, get pictures of the uh, the door and such. Uh, there, there's some homeless people watching you guys. Like, <laughs> also want to examine that big room with uh, drug addicts or whatever. Uh, what do we have here? Because we didn't really look at that. No problem. It, it appears to be like. Uh, it's it's the first room that goes into more tunnels, more rooms and stuff of various people that are just like living in this case under the streets. Yeah, it's it's kind of people's homes uh, who are super poor and they're super suspicious of you guys. Did right. You right. Walk up to one of them. Do you guys happen to know where the hell this goes? Yeah. Yeah. You probably want to talk to Martha. Where's Martha at? You got a dollar? I, I pull out my wallet. I'm like, I got a C note. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I'll take you to it right now, sir. Yes, sir. Right this way. He takes you to a uh, uh, lady named Martha. and She's an older lady. She's apparently been down here a while and stuff. And she goes, yeah, yeah, you, you. You guys were the first ones to ever go through that door and come back. Oh. Yep. Lucky us. <laughs> yeah. I think I I, I heard that uh, Wade went through there tonight. Wade? Wade Bryant. Ah, okay. You actually recognize that guy on his way through? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was moving quick like somebody's after him. Do you know if that thing leads to any other exits or the sewer system, or do you have any idea what what that thing where that thing goes? All I know is that years ago, a kid went in there, and then he came back like much later, and I asked him what was up, and he said two things. 
he said, you got to get past the beast. But he could see in the dark or something. So he was okay. But, you know, he comes in to light and stuff. And he said you needed to bring something valuable, something personal for the gift. All right. Okay. Yep. The gift is not for the beast. The beast is something that'll just try to eat you, I think. <laughs> what the beast is, I don't know. But the gift is to get across the river. All right. So mm. valuable. Thanks, Personal Martha. item. You've been a real peach. You want an autograph? I'd rather <laughs> have a hundred bucks. All right. Here's a hundred bucks. Thanks. Now that's an autograph I can take to the bank. <laughs> Ta -ching! All right, so now we got to figure out what personal expensive item we want to give to this thing. Yeah. As you guys uh, are leaving, you notice that somebody has written on the wall, darkness fills my heart with pain. Whatever that means. Emo high school poetry. Could be. <laughs> Yeah, I think we need to uh, go back properly equipped. So maybe we call it a night. I'm thinking so. Logan, okay. that sword trick, does that just stay available to me for as long as I want, or is there a duration on that thing? The duration is till sunup or sundown. Right. And then, you know, it. Um, I'm not sure what happens to it. It probably just awkwardly clatters out otherwise you'd lose a lot of swords but if you do that's okay too okay um then i'll remember to draw my sword no worries uh yeah you well you've got tons of swords at your house it's like somebody with a sword fetish said how many more swords can we get them <laughs> also as you guys are leaving you notice on the metal door that you first went into it says that uh, okay. that's in roll 20 under your dice roll things there in the text roll 20 can i linguistics that oh yes, oh i can. see it. i'm gonna roll my linguistics at that go for it and that is a fumble it's klingon <laughs> i'll make a re i'll make a linguistics check too all right same thing same <laughs> roll Klingon, definitely. I think we're fighting Klingons. I think you guys are the ultimate fucking team is what I think. <laughs> Not only do you have crackpot theories, you have the same crackpot theories. <laughs> Damn these Trekkies, man. I didn't realize I had this much pull. Yeah. They like to be called Trekkers, though. <laughs> the fact that you know that disturbs <laughs> both of you. <laughs> <laughs> No problem. Uh, you guys uh, head where back to your house to get some sleep and stuff. Yeah, so I think so. Cut to the next day. You've had shower, expertly prepared breakfast, um, getting cleaned up, dressed, everything. You get a phone call, and then uh, uh, Jim comes in. He goes. Mr. Goldstein on the line. Mm, okay. I'll grab Mr. Goldstein. Hello? Hello? Is this me? Is this you? Hello? Hey, Elliot. How's it going? Hey, is it done? Hell no. What? We're, we're particularly bad at our jobs. We're working on it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let me know when it's done. Okay? Yeah. Okay, boy check. But well, I got you, Elliot. Do yes? you know anything about a door with it looks like two angels on the side of it that goes down into nothingness with supposedly a monster in there? What? All right. Take that as and, my uh, and have you seen the Klingons recently? <laughs> what? <laughs> Lay off the cocaine. <laughs> Talk to you later, Elliot. 
Oi, oi, Gavalt, he says, and hangs <laughs> up. All right. It's another day. It's another try at the sword trick. Yay. Fail. Yay. Try again. Fail. Yay. Oh, yeah. He can like try that. again. Oh, fail. Fail. By the fail. way, Logan, if I can avoid parking the car in the driveway and I can park on the street, I do that. Yeah, there is actually. Nobody else has thought of that. There it is, down on the street. Okay, cool. <laughs> Seriously, everybody else has been parking in the driveway. Who knows? Fuck that. Yeah. It's been doing the body shop a world of good, though. They've gotten so much business from the PCs. Support your local <laughs> businesses. No problem. Yeah, you get in your car. No driver all required. <laughs> Where would you like to drive it to? Uh, can we go um, back to with flashlights. Let's Got go two, back to I that. Something. Uh, do we have any valuable personal property? Do you have anything, Phil? Uh, I don't think I had anything in my pockets as far back as I can remember. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we can fake them out. Like, I could put a false autograph on this baseball and claim it was a valuable personal baseball, but I think uh, I'm really bad at forgery. <laughs> and lying. And lying. We have those pictures of us on the walls. Those are personal. And we obviously like them because we hung them up on our walls. I don't know if it's valuable, though. It's probably the best we got. I was thinking we want to stop at that surveillance place again because what Martha said yet yesterday about being able to see in the dark, why don't we get some night vision goggles? Uh, well, we may not be able to pick that up at a spy store, but uh, we can try. They're really expensive but and not very good, but yeah, you can get them. We can give it a shot. All right. I'll put I that on my flashlight. credit card. <laughs> I buy a flashlight and night vision goggles. All right. No problem. They're they're like uh, uh, eight hundred dollars. Cool. <laughs> That's pretty much my credit limit this week or this, today. Uh, all right. We each buy some night vision goggles. Great. Um, I need to get like pouches, things I can carry, belts. Oh yes, backpack. Uh huh. Backpacks. <laughs> okay, done. So backpack. Sure. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, I got nothing to put in it right now, but I I, I slung it on my back. Oh, yeah, I, I put my backpack and I put my goggles in there and my electronics toolkit, my binoculars, grease paint, and my goggles. Well, everything I have is in my Good backpack. Good. Yeah, except the sword. The sword's in the scabbard. I just have a bunch of knives. I'll let him do the decapitating for now. That's I'm spirit. useless with a sword. That's teamwork there. <laughs> All right, so uh, cut to back to the place. All right, you arrive back at the uh, place. Whoop, whoop. Or... Hmm? <laughs> I just locked the car. <laughs> your car is locked. You attempt to prevent uh, hobo sex in your car. Attempt. Watch <laughs> and you get back to the door that you wish you knew what this stuff meant. <laughs> and then you uh, open it on up, dark as fuck. And uh, head on down. Click, click, uh, actually, click, click. before we head down, I take a picture of the um, of the writing. Okay. Oh, the Klingon. If we can get a Klingon expert to have a look at it. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, then I take the night vision goggles out. No how, uh, how good are these things? Expensive pieces of shit is my guess, but you know. Can we see enough to not die while we walk around? Yes, hopefully. 
Although it's yeah, if you ever look look through night vision goggles, they suck ass for like not stepping on like uh, stuff that goes crunched like twigs and shit. It's okay for like people shooting at you and stuff, but you know, no color differentiation. Yeah, it's no a, contrast. No, you, know, you might not see a pit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Been there. All right. So as you head on down, give me smell rolls. You're getting back to the crunchy bone area and stuff. Mm. Fail. I succeeded. Wow. Strong animal odors. Maybe wet fur. Drool. Feces. Smell a monster. You. <laughs> and now give me stealth rolls. Fail. Perfect. Crit. Wow. You're all ninja and shit, and you're like... Tink, tink. And now I'm crunching the bones. And all of a sudden, something that's bigger than a bear jumps on Russ as he's behind you, and we begin your dramatic combat. Ah! Okay, here, I'm going to move the thing back to this page. It's a hell of a way to introduce combat. <laughs> yep. Russ gets eaten. Round two. No. Anyway, um, <laughs> here we go. I'm ready with that action point. All right. Dramatic combat. Villains are first. Heroes have a chance of getting knocked down if they take damage. Grapple is approved. Uh, the villain attempts to bite the shit out of Russ and eat him. Oh, I believe that's a fail let's see uh oh as far as description all you catch is black fur huge teeth jaws flashing black soulless eyes frothing that's pretty right. much what you know okay and it has missed wow it it's it it's currently uh uh tangling with him but yeah it, it, the teeth failed to connect somehow russ what do you do quick fast draw sword Aha, give me a fast draw. What are you doing, Jeremy? Success. I'm going to fast I'm going to play my flash draw fast draw card and attempt to fast draw knives. All right. And uh you made your fast draw, Russ. Uh so yeah. you get a full action still. What do you do? Yes, I do. I uh I sliced that thing up. Jeremy, what are you doing? Did you make your fast draw knives? I critted my fast draw knives. Wow. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, that's that's critted. Great. And go ahead and roll your attack if you want to stabby stabby. Uh, I was going to throw a knife at it. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, if you got throwing knives. Um, also, uh, if you guys, well, okay, damage on this shifts down by one dice due to who knows. Oh, which reminds me, I want to play my another one of my cards. You only have one card pooled at the beginning of combat, and at the end okay. of every round, you get a new card pooled, which can then be used. In combat until that okay. until they get pulled they're in your hand and you can't use them yet okay so i'll just keep it there and i will throw throwing knife is a 50. go for it did you hit russ yeah i made a success so it's a d6 on the sword because it's usually yep. D8, right yep 50 59 i fumbled my throwing knife you toss it into russ's head go ahead and roll damage on russ which yeah, is one D three. Yeah, it, it's a it, instead of a D four, it goes down D three, so it's barely hurting him. <laughs> okay, <damage>. so <laughs> I take three points. The bear takes three points of slashing damage. Got it. No problem. The bear is absolutely outraged by this, and we go into next round. <clears throat> we draw on cards. At, oh, that's right. You, a card get you, you mentally designate a card to be pooled for you. Okay. Okay. Villains are first and hindered. Well, oh, fuck, says the villain. Firing guns is approved. Oh, wait. Russ took damage. Russ, don't roll a 30% or less. Because last round you get knocked down if you took damage. 53. You're, oh, you're fine. All right. So the, the bear is having trouble. It can't get to both of you. So it, it will have to concentrate on Russ, and I'm giving it a small negative to hit because you guys are crowding it and keeping away from its jaws. So um, nothing good's approved. Bear attempts to eat Russ at a negative. 
it bites the fuck out of him. It just chops through him like Christmas goose. And it's damages. Oh, wow. Um, five points of damage, Russ. And roll a, a dex slash maneuver roll. Or um, I'm going to negate that attack. Oh. It's only five. <laughs> only five? Does, well, it feel like, does it feel like a glancing blow? Compared to what it could, it didn't, it didn't bite your entire head off, and it looks like it probably could. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, the, yeah, if you want to spend a hero point on it, that's fine. But otherwise, if you decide to go with it, then you need to make a dex uh, slash maneuver roll. And if once you roll that, you're committed to taking the attack. If you fail that, you are also knocked down. I'll take the five. I'll attempt to sword parry. I uh, can't parry this. It is a too big of monster bite. Okay. So what's so, uh, so dex roll? Yeah, dex slash uh, maneuver skill. Fail. You are knocked down, and it's going to bite the shit out of you next round. But before that happens, if you wish to attack from the ground, it's at negative 30, or you can spend your action getting up, which will negate that negative as well as its bonus to eat you if it goes first next round. Can I parkour myself onto my feet and get some distance from this bear? No, you can only stand up. Okay. I'm going to try through. to get up. Parkour is not a, a cure-all, unfortunately. No, I know, I know. I was just wondering if you do one of those Jackie Chan things where you flip yourself you can, back up. I'm sure, I'm sure it will look cool. But, uh, Jeremy, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to play a card from my pool, a little something extra. Aha, nice. So now my knives do slightly less shit damage. Yay! <laughs> and I'm going to try and just run up and stab him this time rather than throw it. It'd be funny if you threw it and it managed to hit your buddy again. But okay, <laughs> go for it. Oh, that was supposed to be a 1d4. Second. Two. Can I stick with the three? <laughs> so did, you, did you roll the two hit also with knife? Oh, I need to roll the two hit. Never oh, mind. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> uh, come on. There we go. Oh, fuck. Not a fumble. Damn it. I so want to use this stab. He's like, stop helping me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to make my try and get up roll. Oh, you don't need to roll for that. You just get up. Okay. I just get the hell up then. No problem. We go to next round. Villains are first, heroes are second, and cannot use cards this round, although you can still pool a card. Uh, doing nothing this round except raising an eyebrow at the thing which is eating your buddy is approved. <coughs> eating you in your case. But the villain's first. He is still at his negative and still attempting to eat the shit out of Russ. And succeeding massively. For a mighty eight points and a uh, good chance of knocking you down again. Keep in mind, right. you, got, you should be healing one point every round, by the way. Okay, I'm burning a hero point on that one. It misses entirely. So, uh, right, what do you guys do? No cards this round. Slice and dice. Go for it. And what are you doing, Mr. Jeremy? Stabby, stabby. Go for it. Success on the uh, sword attack. Success on stabby, stabby. Cool. I, I was really hoping for another fumble just because. Only one damage, though. Max damage, six points. All right. Uh, excellent. So it's taken a total of six now? Uh, I took three on the first round, nine plus one for him. So ten? It's taken ten. It's got blood just leaking from its um, strange, matted, stinky fur. And we go to next round. It wants to bite you. Villains are first. Heroes can only defend this round. For a creature like this, Russ, I recommend dodge. Um, I'm going to dodge the hell out of him. This round, what's approved is stabbing yourself for full damage, including strength bonus. If you'd rather do that, <laughs> yeah. than attack it. So you're on, you're on defense. Give me a dodge roll. And what are you, what are you doing, Jeremy? Are you going to be attacking? Fail by one. 
I think Jeremy's muted himself. All right, let's see if it hits you. I did mute myself. The button's too easy to hit. Uh, uh, it I didn't bites, think I... Oh, hmm? Go for it. It bites at him, and it's got his sleeve right now, and it's going... Rrr, 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 but it's not his sword hand. He's like... <laughs> so, But it's got your sleeve, and it's doing the thing with its fucking head, shaking back and forth. Sorry, nice. Jeremy, what are you up to? Uh, I didn't think I was able to attack this turn. Uh, you, uh, you can or oh no shit you're oh, right yeah, only. carry on we go now to next round Ooh, heroes are first nothing is approved so uh right what do you guys do sword oh if you just shit. hit him in the fucking skull with your sword i'm loving it it's payback um, time you say see. um is that a fumble yeah that's that's totally a fumble yeah. Ah! <laughs> um, can I see what happens before I put the hero point on that? Uh, well, you're, you, what will happen is you'll be rolling damage, or you can put the hero point on it. If you once you roll damage, you're you're done missing. All right, I'm gonna put the hero point on that one. All right, no problem. Go ahead and try re-rolling it, and if you get an R97, I will giggle like a little schoolgirl. That's a miss. Good, good. All right. Yes, I'm sure your buddy feels better and may <laughs> stab you again in expressing his appreciation. So Try go ahead. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing, Jeremy? Uh, I am. That's knives. I succeed barely. Good. <laughs> <laughs> barely. Damage? And damage. Two. Right. It's up to, believe, 12. No problem. It takes its turn, and hold on. Both of you give me luck rolls. Let's see if it wants to shift targets, because somebody's been doing more damage than somebody else. Yes, it's time to eat Jeremy. I fail. <laughs> it eats Jeremy. It fumbles. It bites itself. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> In the most minor... Uh, oh. <laughs> What it the runs actual, into the wall uh, trying to get him. <laughs> yeah, it, it was apparently distracted by Russ's sleeve, which is torn off of his shirt when it switched targets. And so it was trying to get that out and bit itself a bit, kind of like when you chew the inside of your gums. It appears to have had as much effect. So now we go to next round. Uh, by the way, Russ, if it gets the R sleeve, you'll be sporting a sleeveless look. Those are first reloading is approved. Neither of you guys are using guns, so it goes ahead and bites the shit out of Jeremy. And it just continues biting itself, just fucking noshing on it. This time I remember to decrease its damage by dice because it gets that power even on itself. It, it appears to be slowly biting its arm to death. <laughs> it could take a while at this rate, but eventually it will get there. So what do you guys do? Same thing. Go for it. Fail. Okay. Jeremy, it's up to you. Uh, Fail. Uh, can I hero point that? I don't see why not. You can if you want, but uh, keep in mind you don't gain many hero points per uh, session. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll wait. I, I, I'd wait until it's like um, life-threatening for somebody. Okay. Villains are first. Heroes are second and hasted. That means that... Uh, if you wanted to spend one of your actions now doing a dodge to try to avoid being bit, you would still be able, Jeremy, to attack it. And your buddy can go chop, chop with his sword, if you so wish, on his turn. But first the beast goes. So, Jeremy, do you want to use one of your things as a uh, defense and yeah, dodge gonna... now? Or would you like to let it try its uh, luck and then attack twice? I'm going to burn a dodge. Go for it. That didn't happen. Yep. Let's see if it bites the shit out of you. Uh, oh, it criticals. Oh. oh, yeah. It just. Let's see if the head comes clean off. Can I? Um, you take fifteen points of damage, which would put you down, but not necessarily dead, because you're a, a actor. Mm -hmm. Can I can't hero point at any point on this? You could totally hero point it. Miss. All that shit misses. I'm burning a hero point. Very well. No problem. And right, uh, Russ can take his two attacks. Jeremy can take his one remaining at action for an attack, or you yeah, can do something other. And success. Attack. Yay. So one hit. Okay. For two points of damage. 
as you slowly, slowly sawing through this fucking hugely resilient fucking beast. It's like using a sword with teeth. On, it just shows you cutting this fucking giant redwood down with a fucking axe. <laughs> Jeremy, did you hit? I succeed on my stab roll. And one damage. <laughs> it looks as though it's really annoying. It, 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 you guys started with a great deal of damage. It was really wounded. And then you decide to slow it down and take your time with the kill. Next round. And it's been doing its best to help. That's the sad thing. Heroes are first. If they take damage, they have a decent chance of getting knocked down. Pretending to be a monkey is approved if you do that instead of anything useful. <laughs> so, you're first, Jeremy. What would you like to do? What does approved mean? Just that we can do it? Is that if you do it instead of useful shit, then you get a card. Uh, I'll stab it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and I fail. See, if you'd gone for monkey, you'd have a card. What are you doing, sir? Uh, same thing. Major crits. <laughs> Give me some damage roll there. Double damage, yeah. For eight points. Ah, it appears that he has decided to stop fucking with it and just stab the shit out of it. <laughs> it roars mightily and twitches around and you're not sure if it's dead or it's overacting. You're really not sure. Uh, dog fighting in aircraft is approved. No one's a first. <laughs> for it's round. It dies. Anything from you guys? I want to. I have zoology slash animal lore. I want to do that on this weird creature. Uh, you don't even need to roll. I'll tell you what it is now that you've gotten time to look at it. And it appears to be a giant fucking dog of some sort. Oh. Weird. Huh. I was yeah. I was imagining it as bipedal the whole time. <laughs> it, it it it's bigger than a bear and not one of the little ones. Well, let's hope there's no more of those down here. Yeah. There there's a lot of shit down here, so you are concerned. Froth and blood continue bubbling from its wounds as it lays there. I, can I bury a knife in its head just in case? I'm going to. I'm gonna pull out one of my other knives and bury it in its skull. You do so. All right. It's so hard to get it in. You wish you had a fucking hammer. This is why vampires <laughs> hunters carry a fucking hammer, you're thinking, as you're just pushing. Give me a strength roll to actually make this fuck. Oh my, it's harder than I thought. Why isn't it going in? Roll to 34. I don't know what that means with a strength roll. Do you have, do you have strength as a skill? Yeah, it's skill uh, points uh, and strength. Uh, yeah, I don't now, have it. You are weak as a kitten. No, nothing is fucking <laughs> getting buried into shit. Just you gouging even... the skin on top of his skull. Yeah, you, 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 you cut off some fur. It feels uncomfortable. <laughs> So uh, have we had enough time to get back up to Max? Uh, no, you guys you wait around a bit. It takes about five seconds per hit point, but yeah, time passes. Uh, you're just staying there the, hoping this thing doesn't jump up and fucking take a dump on you or something. All right, well, I'll try and put a sword through its head. Decapitate it. Get some talent. Decapitate, yes. I want, I want a fucking amazing strength roll here. Just roar. Come on, give roar. me a phone roar. Uh, that's a normal success. Um, it takes, it takes. Um, it's going to take longer than you're wanting to fucking do it, is my guess. But I mean, you can get it done eventually. But honestly, a bone saw, a really big one, would be a lot easier. You've been hacking at this thing for. Well, let's put it this way. You're both completely regenerated, and you're continuing to hack at it, and there's just amazing amounts of fucking gore and viscera that are covering you on the front. And Jesus Christ, what is this thing made of? Fucking titanium? <laughs> I think it's dead, Phil. If it ain't dead, <laughs> it isn't happy. All right. Well, we'll leave the Jesus. bubbling, bloody I dog corpse. 
you're thinking if you're going to kill these in the future, maybe a chainsaw, one of the <laughs> extra long bladed ones, or a double one that you can both hold and use your body weight to try to decapitate, it might work. Not a bad idea. Move right. on. Off we go. Yeah. You guys uh, head on. Eventually, the tunnel itself ends in a wide flight of stairs that descend into a huge river or lake. You're not really sure because it's not flowing and you can't see the opposite side. It appears to be a good percentage of shit. The stench is amazing. In fact, you think that this smell may be with you for the rest of your lives. <laughs> And the chamber is vast. It, you, it could go on forever as far as you know. And you can't see anything on the other side. It just it, it just opens out into this. And you hear the creaking of wood and see a sickly yellow light in the distance slowly approaching. I'm going to make a literature check to see if I recognize this uh, particular mythology. Uh, can you can you narrow it down personally because it, it should be I kinda... think we're at the gates to hell or Hades take a card uh, and there might be three of those dogs because Cerberus is a three-headed dog oh <laughs> yes yes you've earned your card but you can do literature to get a check in it if you wish I'll give it a shot your character's suspicious of what you said regardless blah <laughs> blah as I tell you everything I just thought uh, blah is our uh, group shorthand, uh, Jeremy, for like, I brief them without holding anything back. Pretty much everything that the GM has been telling me, blah, blah, blah. Beautiful. So, yeah. Uh, what's literature <laughs> under? Is it another one of those that has a funky it's name? A it? it's, it's a oh, write-in. It's a write-in? Okay. There's, a, there's so many write-ins in this game, you would <clears> not believe. <throat> Dutch Art Masters is a fucking write-in in this game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's this kind of game. Eventually, it, the boat becomes clearer. It's, it seems to be uh, there's a skeletal man in the back wearing a reddish-brown cloak with a hood over his head. He's wearing a black T-shirt with an odd symbol on it, which I will now show you. Frank, Frank. There we go. And here is the symbol. Hmm. If anybody identifies that, I'm giving them a fucking refill. That without looking it up, it's just boom. That's fucking hard. What role would I need to be to identify that in game? Sure, uh, uh, nobody has uh, like self-identifying just for a refill. I have a cold nope. lore. Okay. Uh, uh, well, no. Um, I. I. I'm. You won't get a refill for your character making it, but if you personally knew it, I'd give you a refill. But for identifying in game, I need a rock and roll lore, please. Rock and roll lore? I don't got that. Occult lore a won't rock. cover it? You no. got it at 12. Okay. Or yeah, you, got it, you got it at your learn. This is not an occult symbol. Ooh, nothing. Got it. Nobody? Just barely missed. Okay. Um, Let's see. This guy has a long, uncombed beard crusted with food and shit clinging to his haggard cheeks. He's clutching a long boat pole. On the side of his fairly large boat is a picture of a winged demon with a double hammer. See picture? It's to the left and down from the other symbol thing. And give me spot hidden rolls on that. Success. Fail. Uh, Jeremy, you're wondering if it blinked. It appears to be painted uh, there, but did it blink? You're not yeah, sure. Go to rock. Is that thing looking at me? I think it blinked. <laughs> hmm. um, I, uh, I examined it more closely. And it's still it's still out to sea. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, no, no, he's obviously on crack. It's probably the flickering light from the Coleman lantern hanging in the front of the boat. Um, okay, I uh, I guess we have light, so I take my goggles off, and I say it's just it's just your imagination, man. Don't worry about it. All right. Um, it appears that the boat is trying to do something other than what the guy uh, wants it to do, and he's wrestling it forward by force of will as much as the boat pull, or he's super bad at his job. Pain and woe, he mutters, whether to himself 
the boat or you, you're not sure and maybe don't care. The boat moves through shit and dead rats and other small animals until it's flush with the docks. His eyes flash bluish gray as he peers at you from under the hood. And you notice that once you get out of the tunnel, it seems to be raining constantly. It's not a hard rain. It's like a low patter. And the rain seems to be made from mostly shit. Oh, mm. great. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to wear these clothes again. Now, you're thinking that burning the clothes and maybe the first two or three layers of your skin would be the right thing. <laughs> We're going to have to scrub with pumice after this. Mm -hmm. He waits and looks at you. He does not look friendly. Frights and frustrations, my good friend. Yes. <laughs> you have your <laughs> gift? I, I pull my picture out of my backpack and be like, will this do? <laughs> Do you have a hundred dollars too? Yeah. Sure. I pull my wallet out. I throw a C note on top. Great. Get <laughs> something of value. And you? I uh, show him my picture. He <laughs> just looks at you. Do you have a hundred dollars too? <laughs> I throw a C note on that. Have this you a... seen uh, the soul of Wade Bryant? Yes, yes, yes. He went to the Oracle of the Dead. Has he come so he back? The river. Yes, the river stinks. <laughs> <laughs> so the Greeks were just hearing it wrong the whole time? <laughs> Butters darkly in Greek. <laughs> Get on the damn boat. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not real cozy with this, but let's uh, let's go visit Hades. Shit continues pattering down upon you as you sit in the boat, wishing you had umbrellas or flamethrowers or something. <laughs> right. He begins pulling away, and he says, you wish to go where the one who came before you went. If that was Wade, yes. Yes. We didn't we didn't get really chatty. <laughs> so usually I just pull the boat here. Don't do tea. A big glob of shit falls on the end of his nose. He doesn't even wipe it off. He just looks at you. Uh, you, you got a little schmutz on you? <sighs> yeah. He, he <laughs> swipes it on his shirt like he's saving it. Yeah. <laughs> You, the seats and stuff you're sitting on, slick with what you wish was water. Mm -hmm. The guy mutters uh, things to him. You pull past rats, floating corpses here and there, some some live rats trying to swim toward the boat. Any that draw too close are expertly clubbed down by the old man. Um, yeah, your clothing, it, fetid is too nice of word for what you're wearing. You skirt around a huge cement pipe flush on in the floor with the muck, well, flush to the, the, the sea, yeah, mm -hmm. shit sea. And uh, from the pipe, you guys hear what could be distant, occasional moans, screams, gibbering. Uh, and above the pipe, you can see sickly roots which hang down from an unseen ceiling. Mm. He's going on past it, giggling a bit. You don't think he's quite sane, this guy who lives down here in a constant shit rain. In the shit are the yeah. roots within hand reach, or are they, like, way up? They're just a bit out of any hand reach from anybody, even if they're standing on the edge of the pipe. But okay. tantalizingly close. And then a, you guys are going by, and over there is some broad stairs, kind of like the ones you guys came down. And you see uh, some homeless people shuffling around like zombies. Uh, and close to the stairs is an old woman dressed like a little girl clutching a doll and staring at you with sightless eyes and her mouth hanging open. Creepy. Are you the Oracle of the Dead? Uh, you, he's not even slowing down for her. Okay. <laughs> He says, no, no, that is, that is mediocrity, not for people like you. 
Peace no. out, creepy girl. She just stares at you in the creepiest fucking manner possible. <laughs> and at a different stairway that you guys are passing, you guys see a bunch of old boxes of these. <laughs> <laughs> For those listening, uh, those are banquet meals, frozen meals. And South it looks... Steak. Yeah. And a bunch of uh, down on their luck, uh, war vet type looking guys with the uh, the the old coats and some have medals and stuff on them, and they're all waving weapons and yelling silently at you guys. Um, but what really takes your attention is you see this rising up out of the shit as you continue on. A nice ziggurat. Ooh, take a card for knowing what it's called. That's lovely. Indeed. Oh, there it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's by the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, he's pulling pulling the boat toward it. The yellow, uh, sickly yellow glow of the Coleman lantern of uh, illuminates the structure rising like an island above the disgusting water. There's there's more water all around this thing. It appears from a distance, it looks like concrete, but when you get closer, it appears to be made from bones. Lots and lots of bones. And uh, give me history rolls when he goes, ah, the ziggurat. Fail. Fail. Fuck history, you guys are American. Nobody cares. So um, he pulls up uh, to the the thing so you can get off and onto the ziggurat and live here forever. <laughs> also, this entire ziggurat seems to be covered with a decent layer of shit. Of In course. addition, on the lower steps are old Campbell's pork and bean cans Rotting tins of oysters and old broken crack pipes. Huh. This is a pleasant place, man. Uh, I asked the boatman if this is if this is where the oracle lives. He nods. Will you take us back when we're done? If you have better payment. Fucking pictures of you. I could have done with some fucking food or something, you would think. <laughs> Can't help you out there, dude. <laughs> what do I get next? Your autographed underwear? <laughs> if you want it. That can be arranged. <laughs> Done. He pulls his boat away when you've dismounted. <laughs> now you've got to figure out how to get your underwear off and then put on your shit covered clothes. That will be <laughs> disgusting. That may even be a sanity roll right there, just for the <laughs> factor. Along along the uh, staircase is a big flower pot looking thing with a picture of some guy with a beard and wearing what looks to be a metal dunce cap. The figure points up the stairs toward the dark, wet doorway. Give me Etruscan lore rolls, please. <laughs> you didn't buy Etruscan lore? Come on. <laughs> Nothing. No? Great. Who knows what kind of weird shit is going on here? You're in some sort of fucked up place. It's stinky and smelly and very, very slippery. Uh, there's stairs that go up and then there's gates. And you can see through the gates that go to the terraces and there's nothing on the terraces, but they got gates anyway. And it goes up and then there's a dark entrance up there. And the dark entrance itself is also really fucked up and looks like this, which is a picture near the cigarette. 